Hey guys, so today's video, I'm finally bringing you this video. This is going to be my high-end luxury band stoops video. It's taken me this long because I keep seeing new things like new dupes and I'm like, oh, I'm going to buy that and then wait and then do the video later and then I see something else as well and I want to add it to the video. So that's why it's taken this long, but I'm going to put everything in the, in the description box for you to have a look at. I have found quite a few dupes and I hope that these are helpful to you. A lot of these bags are quite recent or quite on trend, quite popular. There are a lot of people, a lot of bloggers, a lot of, you know, YouTubers or just people out there have been carrying a lot. So I've been able to find quite a lot of dupes and most of them are actually from a website called yesstyle.com. When it comes to these kind of sites, like these like Chinese sites, and so you just never know what you're getting. Your expectation might be different from your reality. So I wanna make sure, I wanna let you guys know what I think about them and if you do get what you see online. So the first bag is gonna be the Louis Vuitton Petite Malay bag and it looks like that. I'm gonna put, I'm gonna put the picture like on the side somewhere so you can see what it looks like and I found the dupe for it. To be honest, when I looked at it on online and the picture, it wasn't, it didn't have like the Louis Vuitton monogram material on it. So they sent me what literally exact same thing but in the picture it didn't have the Louis Vuitton like inspired monogram thing so it looks like it's the real thing but it's not but it looks like this anyway so it's quite small as you can see I don't have the real thing to show you but I do have a picture so it looks like that it looks exactly the same as the real thing I have seen the real thing in, in the store so I can tell it's quite similar I don't know what else stands out differently but that's what you get it is quite a small but it looks like a mini like a mini um, treasure chest type thing so it has a little clasp at the front and open up and it opens up like that and it honestly I doubt this can store much thing I think I feel like just literally just my phone can go in here and maybe my lip gloss and my keys and that's pretty much it you really can't get much in here but it is quite a nice bag I've seen quite a few people carry it for me you know I'm more of a big bag person like I like to be able to put a lot of things in my bag but this is all you get this is so yeah it comes with a it comes with a strap and also on the inside you saw it had a gold chain as well I'm not sure where that goes but it goes in there somewhere despite the fact that if you don't want to um, be walking around with more or less a, a, a replica of the real thing then you might not want to go for it but it came in black white and then the brown I chose the brown but it did not have the Louis Vuitton monogram label on it. The second bag is the Prada Cahir. Is that how you say it? Cahir bag? A lot of people have been wearing this as well. I think the new trend is like small, like crossover bag, crossbody bags. This is the laser cut style. And it looks like this. So it honestly it looks exact, like literally exact to the real thing. The black strap. So you open it up like that. Just has some stuffing inside it just to keep the shape and uh, yeah I think it looks pretty good I like this style and uh, I've actually seen a lot of inspired versions of this bag not just from that website I have another one which I got from Aldo it looks like this this is more looks like this it's a little bit different at the front just this bit is a little bit different but it has like the gold edges even though from this one the edges the gold goes all the way across but this is also and it's a lot smaller this is another version it also comes in black and white as well i know prada does do prada do do a black and white version but i, I have a black and white i have black and white bags so i thought the black and red would look quite nice it's actually pink on either side so it comes with the strap and the gold chain this was 45 pounds Quite a bit it's quite a lot actually for the size of the bag but it is aldo so i guess you would get good quality it does actually look quite expensive if you look at it so uh yeah the next one is the dior diorama bag this is the version i'm referring to there's quite a few versions of the diorama and this one i got from yesstyle as well and from the picture it looked like it'd be like a medium size but when i got it it looked like this it looks quite small i have my diorama to show you just to show you the size of the bag this is the size and this is what you get so it's clearly a lot smaller than what you expect to get so um 
from what I've read as well, that site does tend to come up small in their bags. But it does give you the measurement, but when you get them, it looks a lot smaller. So yeah, just to bear that in mind, if you are looking for, if you are looking for this diorama, if you don't mind the size, you're losing quite a bit. Like look at it, it's a lot, it's a lot smooher than it should look. I got a third size today. Got it in the in the tan and the white as well. But like like you can see, it's, it's very very small. It's honestly, it feels like a clutch bag. Well, the next one is a Gucci Dionysus a bamboo handle bag. And I think I showed you this in my last, uh, my updated handbag collection, my luxury handbag collection. And the dupe I found also from Yesdow looks like this. Um, to be honest, I don't know. I, I, I searched far and wide for this bag to find a more accurate, accurate dupe, but this is the best that you could get. So this is the original and this is the dupe. As you can see, it's a lot smaller, a lot thinner. The green is a different color. The bamboo is a lot thinner as well. But um, if you don't mind that, then I guess you can go for this. The strap is black and red, but the strap in this one, green, red, green. So I guess that's that's the the only way to differentiate between the two. But yeah, as you can see, it's, it's so much different to the real thing. But it's close, it's similar, it's inspired. It's not an exact dupe. The next one is another Gucci bag and it's the Gucci Sylvie top handle bag. Looks like this with the like flower embroidery. This honestly can pass up as the actual thing. I think the only difference is this, but honestly it can pass off as the real thing. It has the exact same kind of design, the gold chain in the middle, the strap. Um, the only downside I have seen, I think I noticed that the other day, it's already like a one of the seams already coming undone, yeah. The thread is already kind of coming out on one side. I don't know if you can see that, but you get what you pay for. Now the next one, I am not completely sure if this is the brand I think it is, but I think it might be inspired by the Valentino like stud, studded bags. But I just thought this looked really nice. And from the picture, it looked like it was gonna be a lot bigger than it is, but it looks like this. So it looks like this, and what makes me think it's it's the Valentino or the studs on the sides and all over it. And then this strap, I've seen quite a few of their bags. I think I think it's the rolling, the roller or the rolling bag. They have like these colorful straps, but I haven't seen this shaped bag. I haven't seen it. So I don't know if it is Valentino, but I think it might have been inspired by Valentino. So this I thought looks absolutely gorgeous as well. I really thought it was gonna be a lot bigger than it looked on the website. But uh, yeah, looks like this. Opens up, just has one compartment in there. And it's a good size bag for like an everyday, everyday look. But I love the contrast of the strap. I think it's quite nice, it's quite stylish. So they have a lot of studded bags. They have a lot more of the actual Valentino rock, like Valentino, is it the rock studs? Oh, those are the shoes. They have a lot more Valentino inspired bags on that website. They have so many bags, guys. You need to check it out. I'll try and link the ones I feel like are relevant, the ones I think, feel like I've seen around. Um, but yeah, this was nice. This also comes in different colors as well, but I wanted the black one just because the, the contrast between the, the colorful strap and the black just makes it look qu quite nice. The next bag is the Chloe Faye bag. This was like, one of the most popular bags, I think it was last year. I don't really see many people rocking that this year. But the Chloe Faye was so popular. I didn't quite get the hype from that bag, to be honest with you. Uh, but I did get a dupe and it looks like this. It looked exactly like the real thing. It has like 50 million compartments in there. I can count one, two, three, four, five, six, and then seven. Seven compartments in there. So. It does stretch a little bit wider than it looks. It looks more like an envelope bag, but it does stretch a little bit. So yeah, it has a suede bit at the, at the top and then the, the leather at the bottom. It looks, honestly, looks like the real thing. And there's a smaller version. I think it's still the, the Chloe Faye, but the smaller version as well, which looks like this. Honestly, guys, it looks exactly the same as the real thing. No one would ever know, besides it not having the, the, Chloe, um, the Chloe label on it. This is the Gucci Broadway bag and I have also found a dupe to this from Yes Doubt. It looks like this. So I picked up the red one. It comes in black and like a baby pink as well. Uh, it looks almost exactly the same as the real thing this except the fact that 
The strap is green, red, green. Honestly, it looks really nice. I love the whole butterfly um, detail in the middle. The real strap is, the original strap is blue, red, and white, but this one is red, green, and red. So I guess, green, red, green. So I guess that's what makes it different. The next one is the Chloe Pixie bag. Now I don't actually have this on me because it's still being sent, it's still being shipped. I noticed it a few days after I wanted to film this video, so I was like, oh snap. But I didn't want to wait another two weeks to receive it, so I thought I'd just go ahead and film this video and then just put, put a picture in the video somewhere. So this is what the original looks like. And then this is what the inspired version looks like from theestyle.com as well. And I think it's almost accurate as well. And they come in different colors. Once that comes, I'll probably show you on Snapchat or show you in the video or lookbook or something on or Instagram. But I didn't want to wait <laughs> till that came because it takes about seven to 14 days to get shipped. And the next one is the Chloe Nile bag. Now that you can also get on the website, but I didn't get it because I already had something similar. And I got this one from Mango and it looks like this. You do, but you can get the actual, the actual you know, look alike from that website too. I will link it in the description box. But it looks like this. This is like the version that the Mango have created. And it also comes in black as well. There are other brands that do this style bag. So I will also link them as well in the description box if you don't want to wait for the ones from Yes Style. So that's it for Yes Style. I do have a couple other brands that I wanted to show you. And then I'm going to talk about Yes Style as a brand on its own as a website so there's another brand there's another website called fashiondrug.com which i noticed on instagram i've seen a lot of bloggers like rocking their bags so i had to order a few things they do a lot of like do a lot of Givenchy and um gucci inspired bags i think they also do like some they do a celine one as well but they don't look really good so i got a couple of the gucci down assist bags i went for the red because i thought I have a lot of black ones. I may I may get the black one in the near future, but this is what it looks like. So uh, yeah, so it has the suede bit at the front and then the leather and just honestly exactly the same as the real thing with like and then the silver kind of gunmetal hardware. It can store yeah reasonably amount of things in there. I also got it in the tan colour so again this will definitely be perfect for the autumn winter because of the colour and um, but I feel like a lot of people will go for the black one because the black one is almost identical it's pretty much identical to the real thing so you can get the black one as well it comes also comes in a khaki colour a nude and like a nude pink so if you didn't want to get these colours or the black ones it comes in like I think it has like five or six colours of this style bag so, oh no this is actually different to this one you can notice this is actually different. This one actually comes with the leather pit, leather bit here. So I think this might be the in, this might be the actual original Gucci, and then this one is just a wannabe lookalike. But yeah, because it has the leather bit here. And then I have the Givenchy Antigona, and this is the their dupe version of this. So it looks exactly like the Antigona without the label, without the without the Givenchy at the front, and it's just normal plain leather. And this is like the this is the nude nude color. Comes in black, green, and pink, I think, as well. This is the dupe to the Valentino Rock Stud Spike bag. And this is from this is actually from River Island. It looks like this. So I think it comes in like a nude, like a beige color. So it looks like that. This is a good color for autumn winter. It is quite small. I know that Shein had it, but they've sold out. They had quite a few colours as well. £28, so not too bad. This is actually not too bad for um, the bag. And then from Aldo, I got this bag recently. This is absolutely gorgeous. It comes in two colours. Well, this particular style this, is it suede. It looks like this. This is so, so cute. So it reminds me again of the Sylvie, the Gucci Sylvie bags just in terms of the shape of it. And they do quite a lot of colours and quite a lot of styles of this shaped bag. There's two styles, two colours in this style, like the green and like a dark blue. So I thought I'd get the green because I don't have a green bag actually, which is quite interesting. I don't have a green bag. I love the detail, I love the little like butterfly thing again, very ooh, and then the the bug insect, very Gucci inspired. So um this was 60 pounds. Also comes with a strap as well if you don't want to hold it as a top handle. And then this one, I don't know if, if I would class it as another Gucci inspired because of the like the floral print. But it looks like this, I just thought I'd get it. It looks like this. This I thought looked absolutely gorgeous. Um, it has a massive buckle in the middle with like a ribbon and then you open it up. 
also comes with a strap as well. And this comes in two colours. I'll put the other colour in the video somewhere. But this, I just thought, stood out very much. It's not very autumn winter, but it's not very autumn winter, but you can you can definitely um, rock this with like a plain outfit and have this as your standout piece. This one was £65. So, yes, style. These items took about 7 to 14 days. I think it shipped within 11 days. And then once it got shipped, it took a day to get to me. Literally a day. I think they used DHL Express. The only thing I'm gonna say is you just gotta be careful because you just don't you just don't know what you're gonna get. Like the first one I showed you, the Louboutin inspired one. On the website it doesn't show that it has a Louboutin monogram print on it, but that's what it, that's what I was sent. And then sometimes the sizing might be a little bit different. Make sure you check the measurements. I hate returning things when it comes to like Chinese website, Chinese brands, but for the price, they are quite good. The quality sometimes might be a little bit hit to miss as well, so it just depends on what you order. You get what you pay for. If they're all under $40, you get what you pay for. So yeah, that's it. I really hope this helped you. I do want to do more of these kind of videos. I, I, sh I actually want to do like more clothing and shoes as well. If you would, if you want to see them, let me know. I love my bags. I love my luxury stuff, but I also love a, I love a bargain too. I love being able to like save tons of money when I can get something exactly the same cheaper. Make sure you check out my previous videos if you haven't already. And yeah, thank you so much for watching. And I'll see you in my next one. Bye guys.